The gentleman yields back, Mr. Buck. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Attorney General, I'd like to direct your attention to the easel behind me. Uh, the first painting is a Claude Monet. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't read any of the words. Uh, you don't need to. Okay. You just need to look at this great painting right here. It's a very here. beautiful painting. It is beautiful, and uh, it is listed at Christie's for $700,000. Uh, now, Claude Monet was uh, the founder of the Impressionist uh, movement, something I didn't know until I researched it. Um, the second painting is a Degas, it, uh, another world-renowned artist, and this painting sold for $500,000. The third painting, you may recognize this name, is a Hunter Biden. I, I, Biden don't, I don't recognize the painting. The Hunter Biden painting sold for $500,000 also. Now, you may think that such an exclusive, um, that, that when Hunter Biden is in such exclusive company, that he would have a background, you know, artistic training, for example. Um, but you would be wrong if you thought that. And you might think that he had some sort of apprenticeship with a world-renowned artist, but you would be wrong again if you thought that. Or perhaps that he has been selling his works for years, and again, unfortunately, you would be wrong. It turns out that in 2019, Hunter Biden couldn't find a gallery to list his art. And what happened in 2020 that changed all that? His dad became president of the United States. Now a single piece of art from Hunter Biden sells for more than the average American home. This art arrangement is so suspicious that the Obama administration ethics czar, Walter Schaub, tweeted on July 10th of this year, Hunter Biden should cancel this art sale because he knows the prices are based on his dad's job. Shame on POTUS if he doesn't ask 